Barney. Listen to me. Yes, boss. Now that the alien is not around, I can honestly speak to you. Boss, what's an alien? Alien? They are creatures from outside this planet. And who is that alien? <laughs> I'm talking about Osuran Bob. Oh, Osuran Bob. And what about him? He's an alien. Oh, is he? I don't think you should take up the offer made by Osoran Bob. I have to learn to do things that you have been doing. So if Mr. Osoran Bob wants me to represent Earth to work for her benefit, I should not shun away from this responsibility. What do you mean by do things that I have been doing? You did say that you think a lot about ways to help this world we are living in. Yes, indeed I have, but you need to just think about it first. After having gone through the thinking process, then you may start to work on it. I'm sure Mr. Sorenbot has his reason to choose me to go straight into doing something for this world. What does he know about leadership? Well... Tell me, between you and me, who's the boss? You are the boss. See, I'm the boss because I have leadership. But... But me no but, I'll be straight with you. To be someone leading this world, you'll need knowledge, tenacity, politics, and most important of all, you should be a master of manipulation. And you're looking at a master of... I thought the most important qualities of a good leader include integrity, accountability, empathy, humility, resilience, vision, influence, and positivity. How does manipulation come into the picture? Um, who told you about- Mr. Osoran Bob has taught me about leadership and more. Well, true, but there are more things than just leadership. For instance... For instance? Relationship? What about relationship? Well, if someone, let's just say hypothetically... Yes, boss? Let's just say hypothetically that person is me, and we do have a good relationship, right? Yes, boss. And because of the good relationship between you and me, I therefore ask you to let me take over your, you know, your, your... Boss, has anything gone into your eyes? <laughs> Let's me put it in another way. If I were to let you sleep in my power girl bed in exchange for taking over your role as a leader of this world... Uh-uh, no can do. If you want to take over as the leader of Earth, you need to talk to Mr. Osoran Bob. Besides, I wouldn't want to sleep on our guest since he's residing inside your bed. What about you let me be that leader in exchange for my dinner? You have always wanted to eat feline wet food, haven't you? Wow. Yes? Um... I can even share all my toys with you. That is... Nice? No? Okay, okay. How about I let you have all my toys? That's very generous of you. But... But what? Let us check with Mr. Osoran Bob first. <laughs> Have you forgotten how I've been caring for you? No, boss. I haven't forgotten. You have been caring for me since I was brought into this household. If someone is so caring for you asks you for a little favor, would you consider helping him? Yes, I would. Now, I'm asking you for that little favor to let me be the leader of Earth. Um... Are you going to break the hearts of someone who cares so much for you? Um... There's someone who helped you get your work so that you could meet your dream girl? Okay, I'll let you be the leader. Good on you! You should know that I always treat you like my own son. But we have to talk to Mr. Osoran Bob. He... Why don't you just strongly recommend me to him? To take over as leader of Earth? Where are you? Here. Where? The coffee table. I've just learned how to transfer my subtle body into another inanimate object. Have you heard all of our conversation? Yes, it's very enlightening. Library and emotional blackmailing is something new to me. We don't have this kind of strategy in our planet, but thanks to you and Google. I'm slowly starting to learn how things work on Earth. 